Howdy, guys, and welcome to Night 39's Overnight Feeds Recap of Season 23 of Big Brother, and welcome to Cliff Notes from outside the Big Brother house. All right, I figured this week was going to start getting a little bit more exciting, and I knew we'd have a little bit more clarity once we, we saw what had happened with the veto competition, with the high roller competitions, and we have that, and yes, I think it's going to be an exciting week. So first of all, a little bit of a refresher on what we knew uh, coming into to tonight's Overnight Feeds. First of all, Kylan, the HOH, he originally put up Claire and Derek F. as the two nominees with Derek F. as a pawn, Claire as a target. But you know how things can change, right? And it could be the case this week. I think it is the case this week. Uh, so that was the, the basis going into yesterday. Uh, we had the draw for the veto players. Wow, an interesting draw. Kylan, Claire, and Derek F. All obviously already playing. Uh, but we also had Aza and Brittany and Alyssa pick to compete in the veto competition as well. Now that's three uh, players that are not in the cookout alliance. That could create all kinds of issues for the cookout alliance uh, with the high roller comp and the veto comp both coming into play for this particular week. So a very good draw for those who are outside the cookout alliance. Not so much if you're inside that particular alliance. So those are the players we've got. Kylan, Claire, Derek F, Aza, Brittany, and Alyssa. Now, once we have the players picked, we move on to the high roller competition. And we didn't know that much about it. We know a little bit more uh, today. Apparently, the power of the game in the first week uh, was Veto Derby, where basically anyone who wants to play can spend some amount of money uh, to purchase a, a ticket, I'll call it, uh, where you get to bet on one of the six people playing Veto, just like a horse race. It, it, you bet on who you think is going to win the Veto competition. If you're correct, if the person you picked wins a Veto, not only does that person win just the regular little Veto like we have every week, but the person who placed the bet on them also wins a veto. And this veto can be used, I think, uh, either this week or one of the next two weeks. So a, an even stronger, more powerful veto really to, to speak of. Now, there could be some few details and such that we haven't heard yet. We'll find out more this evening on Sunday night's telecast on CBS exactly how this works. But that's the basis based on what we heard conversation wise and everything else. So with that in mind, who played in the game? Who spent some money to make some bets uh, on the veto competition? Well, we have that from, from different sources, including a lot of conversations inside the house. And it sounds like Claire played the game. She's betting on Kylan to win the, uh, the veto competition. Derek F. was voting on Brittany. Now, Derek F. really wants Brittany to win this thing. Uh, in fact, to the point he's saying, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to let her win. So with that in mind, he's betting on a veto for, for Brittany, which would give her and him both uh, both a veto at the end of the competition. Kylan was betting on Alyssa to win the veto. And finally, Sarah Beth was voting on Aza to win the competition. No one bet on Derek F to win. Come on, guys. You aren't, you aren't cheering on the underdog. You aren't going to put your money where you're uh, behind the support of the underdog. Yeah, no, uh, Derek F didn't get anyone voting for him. Claire also didn't have anyone vote for her, which surprised me a little bit. Uh, but, um, uh, but so that's what we've got. Four people that are betting on four separate players to win the veto competition. I was a little bit surprised that Brittany didn't place a bet, especially if she received $100, which is the most that anyone could receive. Uh, so surprises me a little bit, but there may be something going on with this game that when you spend your money, the first thing you have to do maybe is play some kind of skill game within the competition. And if you win that, you get a ticket to make a bet. Or maybe Brittany just feels very confident that she's okay this week and, and not the target uh, this particular week. If that's the case, if that's an assumption, that may be a bad major mistake on Brittany's part, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So there you have it. Uh, six people competing in veto. Four of them, if they win, four other people will get a veto as well, which makes everything very exciting this week. So the veto competition comes along, and it turns out this week is... Otev, oh, one of my favorites, such an iconic competition. Uh, so Otev is a, is a comp, uh, and the winner, as we find out a little bit later, the winner of Otev for season 23 is Alyssa. Maybe not who you were expecting. She'd kind of fallen off the radar a little bit. Not anymore. Not after this. Alyssa has won the competition, but apparently Kylan threw the competition to Alyssa, and he rather obviously threw it to her as well, based on some of the conversations we heard. Now, that may actually make a little bit of sense. He bet on Alyssa to win the competition. So, yeah, he could have won. He could have not thrown it to her. And, and there may be some repercussions within the Cookout Alliance uh, for not doing that. But by letting her win, 
he now has a veto that's not just for this week, but for the next three weeks. So a little more power by doing that. So I think it probably was a strategic move to do so. But now Kylan's got a little damage control of explaining why and, and calming some people down and things like that. Because there were some people within the Cookout Alliance who were promoting Alyssa as a target for, for eviction this week. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, Alyssa has won the veto. She is safe. Uh, can't be put up. Whether she'll use it or not, we don't know just yet. Uh, and Kylan has a veto good for the next three weeks. So that makes everything very, very interesting. Now, Kylan has a conversation with, uh, with Alyssa where he has promised to use, uh, use the veto uh, on Claire, pull Claire off. He's going to put Brittany back up on the block. And the conversation with Alyssa is he has told her that if you don't use your veto, uh, then in exchange, I will uh, promise that I won't touch you. I won't touch Sarah Beth. I won't touch Xavier, uh, any one of the three. Uh, now, you have, And he also gets her to say that she also won't go after Kylan the following week if they work that deal. So again, the plan is that Kylan's going to use his veto, pull Claire off, put Brittany on. He won't touch Alyssa. Alyssa won't touch him. And, and he also won't touch any of the other former Kings uh, as well. So a pretty important uh, little agreement right there because if Alyssa, now we don't know exactly how it's going to work. If, if Kylan was to use his veto, pull Claire off, put Brittany on the block, then Alyssa came along and put Brittany, pulled Brittany off the block. Well, who's Kylan going to put up at that point? He could put up Sarah Beth, but he doesn't want to do that, right? Uh, he could do Derek X, but you got to be careful about that. These guys have been working together a little bit. Uh, so, you know, he, he starts running out of choices at that point uh, to, to what he would do. So it was a good deal, I think, to work out between Alyssa and Kylan. So that's the game plan going forward. A few conversations that we have. Kylan has told Derek F that Brittany is going to be the renomination for Claire. Now, remember, Derek F's were very protective of, of Brittany uh, and Aza uh, in, in, as former jokers. But Kylan's told Derek F that he's going to do it to soften the blow with his former joker teammates. Uh, Derek F is going to tell them that Kylan approached him right before the OTEV veto competition and said that Alyssa was a target and Brittany was nothing more than the backup. But since Alyssa won veto, now Alyssa can't be put on the block, so Kylan has no choice but to put Brittany up instead. That's what Derek F is going to tell his other Joker teammates to try to lessen the blow. Uh, Derek seems okay going along with this. I, I don't know that he necessarily wants Brittany to go, but he has also made some mentions about, look, I, I, I want to save them, but I'm also playing for the cookout alliance. Uh, I know where my priorities are, and if it has to be done, it has to be done. So he seems to be on board with it as well. Uh, but that gets back to the conversation. If Alyssa truly was the original primary target, then why did Kylan throw it to her to begin with? So I think there, there may be some questions to ask about that a little bit later uh, in the evening or later on during the week as people start thinking about it. Uh, we've got Derek X and Hannah talking, and they're upset. They're upset with uh, Kylan, not for throwing the competition necessarily, but not for talking to his alliance of four. And remember, we've got Hannah, Derek X, Kylan, and Sarah Beth, who have kind of formed this alliance of four. Derek X and Hannah are upset that he didn't talk about what he was going to do uh, before making these decisions. And he's kind of just arbitrarily deciding what he wants to do. And they don't feel that's the way an alliance should be working. So they're both, they're both pretty upset at Kylan to the point that they have said, look, if either one of us wins HOH next week, let's put Kylan and Sarah Beth on the block. Uh, they're saying they can't trust Kylan anymore. So, so much for that alliance of four, right? That didn't last long at all. And it, I think that could have been a good alliance. I think it's a mistake for Kylan not to, to go to them and involve them just a little bit more than he has. Uh, but again, he's got torn sympathies or torn alliances. He's got the cookout, and then he's got Derek X and Hannah as well. And it sounds like Kylan's made his decision at this point. Uh, Sarah Beth and Kylan are talking. Apparently next week, we had the veto derby this week. Apparently next week may be the competition where someone can win a power somehow where they can pull someone off. But if they do, it's just a random person who goes back up on the block in that person's place. And Sarah Beth is saying, look, next week would be a perfect week to, uh, uh, to make one of the jokers or to put both of the jokers uh, on the block as targets uh, because no one's going to take one of them off and take a chance that someone that they're closer to could get put up as a random replacement. So she's saying it seems like next week should be incredibly easy. But here's the thing. 
if Brittany goes home this week, the only two players left in the Joker's Alliance are both Cookout Alliance members. So depending on who wins HOH, obviously, there's a lot of people that aren't going to want to put the two Jokers up. It's not nearly as cut and dried as, as Sarah Beth thinks it may be because of that alliance. Uh, fine, uh, another couple of things. Hannah, uh, apparent, all right, now here's something. I got to talk about this. I, oh, Hannah apparently begged to go on the block uh, because she was so certain that this competition was going to be OTEV and she wanted to play in it. And I've heard conversations that, oh, production maybe told them it was going to be OTEV before they actually got outside so they can make picks on Vito and them. Is that possibility? Well, yeah, I, I suppose it is. Uh, production never gave us any hints whatsoever what any of the uh, veto competitions were going to be before we started. So I, I kind of have my suspicions that's the case. I think it's much more likely that this is just the time right after you make jury, that first week or two after jury is where we almost always see Oteva curve. We've got a lot of smart players in the house this year. I think they just knew this was about the right time for Otev and guessed, just guessed correctly. I think that's all there is to it. But what kind of sticks in my craw is that Hannah apparently is saying that she was begging to be put on the block as a nominee just so she could play on OTEV. All right. It is crazy. Uh, it is insane to be that confident uh, about your chances to survive that you're willing to voluntarily go on the block just so you can compete on a competition. I don't like it. I, I don't like it one bit. Hannah has just sunk to the bottom of my list of, of people I'm cheering on. And maybe I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I don't want anyone in the house to feel that confidence. And, 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 and I guarantee if someone came to me begging me to put on the block, I'd say, you got it. I'm not debating that for a second. If you want to go on the block, you've got it. Let me just say this. I love playing in OTEV my season. I'm so happy I got to play. But if someone had come up and say, Cliff, you'll get pulled off the block. You got safety for the, for the week if you're willing not to play in a, the OTEV competition. Sign me up, not a second's hesitation. You're there to win the game, not to play an individual competition. So, yeah, I don't like it one bit. I, I'm going to have to talk to Hannah when she gets out of the house over this. You go for safety every single week. But she wanted to go on the block so just so she could play in OTEP. All right, the, the soapbox over. Uh, Kylan and Derek F. are talking. Kylan wants to target Sarah Beth next week. Really? I, I thought these two were so tight. Now every chance that Kylan gets, it seems like he's throwing Sarah Beth under the bus. Is it because he's really trying to emphasize to the Cookout Alliance that he's part of them, that he doesn't want any of them suspicious as he's not fully on board? Maybe. Maybe Tiffany's magic works. She, she tried to drive that wedge between Kylan and Sarah Beth, and, and perhaps it worked because he just seems like he's always throwing her under the bus. Uh, and so he's saying he's, he wants to target Sarah Beth next week. But he's also saying that the Cookout should consider putting up Derek X instead because he believes, and I think he's right, I think everyone believes that Derek X is getting the maximum $100 from America every week. And so why shouldn't we put Derek X, get him out of here before he takes all that money and before he gains even more power and, and is impossible to get out? Now, Conan was so seemingly so tight with Sarah Beth and Derek X both, and now he's going after both of them. What, what has happened? I, I don't know. I think... Uh, I, I think that's a misstep in Kylan's game. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. But I, I hate to see those three not working together anymore, uh, at least from Kylan's standpoint. Uh, Derek F. Uh, is talking. Uh, he wants Alyssa and Sarah Beth up on the block. Hey, he's talking to Kylan. He says, I, I want Alyssa and Sarah Beth up. I, I'm fine that Derek X would go up, but I'm worried that he too easily could win a, comp a veto competition pull himself right back off. And now I got an enemy and everything else. I'm real. I'm shooting for Sarah Beth and, and Alyssa. If I get HOH, I'm ready for Derek F HOH. Uh, it, it's time Derek F. Let's see, see it happen. Uh, Derek F wants to make sure that when the final six reaches, the, uh, when the cookout Alliance reaches the final six, he says, we got to make sure once we get there that we get these girls to go after each other and leave us alone. I think we can do it. And that's going to be our path for, for you and I, Kylan, to get a little bit further in the game. He may be right. Uh, he thinks that Aza will go after Tiffany and Hannah as soon as she gets a chance, and that's probably true. Uh, but Derek F. is also, he's really laying it out to Kylan. He's saying that as a gay kid at a military school, he knows what it is like to feel different, and he is feeling very empathetic, very sympathetic to Brittany. Brittany had talked earlier, cried a little bit, that she really feels like she's an outcast, that she hates even thinking that she's one and, and how much that hurts her. And and Derek F. is saying he very much can, can relate to it and feel so sorry for. 
Now, he's telling this to Kylan, and is Derek F. doing this just to try to maybe stop Brittany from going home? Because we know he's he doesn't really want to see her go. Is he doing it just as a, a bit of a plea, a sympathy plea to Kylan? Well, the cynic in me says, yeah, that, that could be the case. But I really just think that Derek F. is just uh, has a very good, very sympathetic soul. And he's just doing this because he can relate to, to Brittany and he knows what he's going through. I, I choose to believe that. And I think that is the case. All right. Uh, the rest of the house guests, most of the rest of the house guests, they're playing lots of, would you rather do this, do that, the games for most uh, the house guests. They're just, uh, the competitions are over there. They're not really talking as much strategy right now. So a lot of the evening was spent playing just some some casual games of that sort. Uh, Brittany has been wanting to talk to Kylan throughout the night, uh, but he's been with Derek F. For, I don't know how long they talk, an hour or two. Seems like they were talking together for a long time. She's been wanting to talk to Kylan, though. Uh, Brittany is talking about that she wants to flip the four to save Derek F. Now, I don't know exactly who the four is. I need to do some more checking and things like that. But Brittany's doing what she can to save Derek F. Without the realization that really she's the one in jeopardy this week, that the whole thing's getting ready to flip on her. She didn't have a clue. In fact, at one point, Brittany, Derek F. has been playing very much the, the character, very much playing like he doesn't know what's going on and saying, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go and seeing somewhat, seeming somewhat resigned to his fate. Uh, and so Brittany is actually giving him a pet talk, pep talk saying, you got to fight. You can't give up. You got to keep going on, Derek F. And it's so hard to watch that knowing that he's safe. He's not going anywhere. Brittany's the one who probably is going home this week. So that, that's t- it was tough to watch. All right. A few more conversations. Kylan has told the detective his alliance, and the detectives are him, Claire, Derek X, and Tiffany. Uh, he has told the detectives that he's taking Claire down and putting up Brittany. Obviously, Claire is very uh, happy to hear that news. Uh, he thinks that Brittany is the only person who would use this random power next week and put someone in the cookout alliance at, at risk, potentially. So he wants to send Brittany out the door. We'd already heard conversations. She's winning so much money. They don't want her to keep winning the money as well. Now they're talking about a new alliance. They're saying, look, the detectives, the four of us, let's bring Hannah in as well. Let's have a group of five as an alliance. We should be able to do wonderful things with that. They're talking about names. I heard the agency thrown out. I don't know if they ever settle on name, but I guess maybe we've got a new alliance. Hannah's not aware of it yet that I know, but they're talking about bringing her in, turning this alliance of four. Well, not turning this alliance of four into five because they still want to keep the four. They just want to bring Hannah in as an extra number, and she'll obviously be at the bottom of the totem pole. All right, we've got Kylan and uh, Aza talking. Kylan is explaining explaining the plan to Aza, and she's saying, look, taking out Brittany or Alyssa is best for the cookout alliance. Uh, we can't do Alyssa because she's got the, the veto now, so we've got to go with Brittany instead. Aza is saying the right things that, look, I'm, I'm all for the, the alliance, the cookout alliance. I understand, and you know, if we have to, we have to. But she does seem real happy with Kylan. And I think she's a little suspicious still of why he threw the competition to Alyssa uh, to begin with. In fact, uh, a little bit later, that was Kylan and Oz. A little bit later, Kylan and Hannah are talking. And Hannah's saying, look, it's obvious that you threw the competition to Alyssa. Alyssa may not realize it because she's just busy celebrating. But we all know that you threw the competition to Alyssa. Uh, and she's saying uh, she doesn't seem happy. And, and I th- she's saying basically, look, Alyssa needed to go before Sarah Beth. She needs to go before Sarah Beth. Uh, and and also Derek F. needs to go before Derek F. So she's got her pecking order of sending out Alyssa and Derek F. as soon as possible. Uh, and she's worried. She says, look, uh, people are going to start getting suspicious of you and Xavier. Uh, and people are going to start connecting the dots. If, if you're doing some of your personal games, Kylan, and not working with the rest of the alliance and I am just worried that if you send Brittany home right now, uh, that you don't have a good reason for why you're doing it. And people are going to start getting very suspicious when, when you do that instead of Derek F. So she's a little upset at this point in time. And then finally, close this thing out. Tiffany, Tiffany is always playing the game. Tiffany is spending a lot of late night time with Kylan last night. She actually ends up staying in the HOH room, sleeping in the HOH bed with, with Kylan. Partly so that he hears her comments and opinions as the last comments before going to sleep. And two, to keep anyone else from coming up there and whispering in Kylan's ear as well. Tiffany knows how to play the game. Uh, She's saying, look, instead of Claire, uh, or she's saying Claire needs to be the one to come off the block instead of Derek F. In order to be less obvious to Derek X. She's worried about the same thing that Hannah kind of pointed out, that people are going to start connecting the dots. And she's thinking that if, 
if Derek F came off the block and now you got Claire and, and Brittany on the block, Derek X is smart enough. He may figure out that, wait a minute, this looks kind of suspicious. So she's saying, look, even though, even though Derek F's in the alliance, he's safe. So go ahead and pull Claire off, leave Derek F up so that it's a little harder to, to see the cookout alliance w- working its magic behind the scenes. Uh, she's also worried about Aza and Hannah trusting each other so little, saying those two are getting at it. And it gets back to what Derek F had said. Once his final six gets here, let's let the ladies go after each other. He's seeing that there's some friction between these, and, and he may be right, and, and Tiffany's recognizing it as well. So there you have it, guys. A lot of conversation, a lot having taking place last night. But again, the plan right now is to pull Claire off the block, put Brittany on the block, send Brittany home. It's going to be a rough week for Brittany, especially if she had a choice to play the, the, the high rollers and she didn't choose to do it. She's going to be regretting that. But plan right now is to send Brittany home. But we got one. Three or four days before that happens, all kinds of things can change. Guys, y'all have a fantastic last little bit of your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. We'll see what else is going on. SKD 143. Cheers, my friends. Bye.